Man, you know what time it is. Good morning, people, man. <laughs> it's Wednesday. It's almost the weekend and you know how we do it. You know we get charged up in the middle of the week because, hey, we made it through the week. And really this morning, I just want to talk to you guys about uh, something that's been just, you know, kind of pressing on my heart and my mind to make sure that I get out to you. Um, I gave this presentation last week and really it's all about running your race and chasing your dreams. Uh, I, like I mentioned in a previous video, man, you are anointed. You are you are blessed to be in whatever position you're in because you are on a journey like no other. Uh, you're you're in a race with time. You're in a race with yourself that you have to run that race and chase those dreams. No one else is like you you're specifically made for a purpose and and what i mean run your race is you're at a there's a starting point and there's a finish line whatever happens in between then is up to you you have to program your mind that it's go time Amidst all the chaos that's going around us, we cannot allow anything to deter us from our race. No matter who's behind you, no matter who's running in front of you, it is your race. Do not be concerned with other people and how fast they're going or how slow they're going because what we do is we tend to look back and say, I'm better off. But we have to get out of the mindset of looking in front and looking in back. And, but we have to see where we are in our race. You have to run your race and chase your dreams. And, and it's almost like if you go on a long distance run. And that's all life is. Life is a, it is in a sprint. It's a long distance run. And... You're in the starting blocks and you're excited to start this new journey. You're excited to chase these dreams and boom, gun goes off and you're gone. Crowds cheering, they're hyping you up because hey, <laughs> you're going places in your life. And what tends to happen is once you get to that middle point, once you get to that, that, that tough spot where all of a sudden life says, hey, I know you're not a hurdler, but here are some hurdles. You know, you, you, the crowd begins to kind of drown out a little bit. The attaboys and, and, and the cheerleaders aren't there like they were when you started in the beginning. And this is where people kind of get deterred and they get thrown off because they're looking for the cheers. They're looking for the, the they're looking for the excitement of folks around them like when they started. And what they start doing is they start looking at who's further ahead and how much further ahead they are. And they lose sight of what they're doing. They lose sight of their race. They're seeing people go past them in, in, in business. They're seeing folks go past them in money. But what they, what they don't focus on is how am I running? How am I moving through this life? Is my form right? What was my preparation to, to continue to run? They're, they're focusing on everything else except focusing on how can I get to my end goal. Yes, you're tired. Yes, you're exhausted. Some of you, your resources are exhausted. But that does not stop you from running your race. Your race your specific race is ordained and anointed to only be completed by you. There is no one ever going to be made to do what you do better than you. 
trust me, everyone has a race. <laughs> everyone has some type of race, man. They have some type of journey they're on where they have to go through tough times. You and I are no different. The race still needs to be won. And only we can win it. No one else is going to pick us up and run with us on their back for so long. Some of us will, will get those, those advances a lot quicker than most people. But at some point in time, your feet have to get back on track. And you have to continue this race. Don't allow yourself to get deterred by what's going on around you. Do not get off course. Because only you can win this race. Run your race. Chase your dreams. Allow yourself to be great. I've said it many times. Allow yourself to run this race. But with greatness. Only you can win it. Only you can win the race. You put the time in. You've had the blood, sweat, and tears. Some nights you've cried yourself to sleep because nothing seemed to be going right. But you still ran your race. You're still running your race. And that's what it takes. It takes your heart and your soul to be poured out into this passion, to be poured out into this journey. If you've ever seen an Olympic athlete when they pass that finish line, all the years of hard work, dedication, the losses, the gains, they break down in immense joy because they know everything they did paid off. But they would not be that excited, ecstatic, and and happy if they didn't pour everything that they had into getting to that point. We have to pour everything we have into our dreams and our passions. We have to pour everything we have into this race. We have to. That is the only way we're going to make sure that we say, I did everything in my power to get where I am. Some of us were still running it. We have no idea where the end is, but every single day you strive to get to that end point. Be prepared to get to that end point. Because when you see it, you'll know it. And you'll know, man, this is the most amazing feeling that I have, that I have made it to my finish line. But I cannot stop going forward. There are always going to be finish lines throughout. Those are called milestones. Your end goal is to be at the pinnacle of whatever it is you're chasing. But you cannot stop moving forward. That's life. Like I said, you are anointed and ordained to do something great in this lifetime. Everyone's life has a meaning and a purpose. We've talked about this on other videos. Your purpose. You're made for greatness. It's up to you to chase that greatness. It's up to you to chase it because it awaits you at every turn. You have every chance every day to be great. From the smallest task to the largest task, you have every chance to be great. And you can do it. There's no option. Be great. Run your race. Only you can win it. Only you can win that trophy of whatever it is, man. But you have to go after it. You gotta grab it. When you grab it, when you get a hold of it, you know I put my heart and my soul into this. 
You know what your passion is. You know what your journey is. Some of us are scared because we don't know what's going to happen. But you started. Even if you got out of those blocks late and you're behind, you started it. You initiated the process. That's all it takes. Now it's time for others, for yourself to feed you. To feed that fire. To start your day charged up. To surround yourself with people that will keep you charged up. That's what life is about. Running your race and chasing your dreams. Finding that purpose. That's what it's about. Yes, celebrate other people's successes. Don't get caught up in so much of what you're doing that you can't celebrate with someone else. But as soon as that celebration's over, you don't get caught up in what they did, you go back to running your race. Because even the celebration part is a part of your race. If you, can, if you can experience the joy with someone else and not allow the bitterness and the, and, and the being upset or slighted or feeling disrespected to weigh you down, you continue to run. Run your race. Chase your dreams. We only get one chance, man. Why not pour it into you? Why not pour it into your friends? Why not pour it into your race that will allow you to be great? For your children and your children's children to know that you left your mark on this world. In anything. Run your race. Chase your dreams. Simple as that. Every day is another chance to go that much further in the race. And we have to get it done. We will get it done.